Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're going to be doing one of my favorite topics for a tutorial and that is animated typography. And there's a lot of great elements in here and a lot of great techniques that we'll talk about in this video. And a lot of it is going to be based on obviously animated text, shape layers, and how we can combine the two together to create an awesome animated typography title. So let's go ahead and jump into tutorial and let's get started. So We'll come over here to our new composition. As you see, I already have my text in here. And let's take a look at this real quick. So you can see that there's obvious contrast between the first title and the second title. And you can see that this, you know, the typography text here is you know much bigger and bolder. And the top title animated is a little bit skinnier and it's smaller. And this is a good way to create some good contrast between two titles, make one smaller, thinner, another one thicker and bigger, and you're going to be able to easily create some nice contrast. So just keep that in mind when you're laying out your text. And I'm using the typeface Gotham. So let's dive into the text animation first before we go into shape layers. And this is all going to be custom. So let's go to our, you know, our main title down here and let's take a look at some things that we can do. So let's open this up. Let's go to the text layer here and let's go to where it says animate. Click that add button and let's add a scale effector here. And what's going to happen here if we decrease the scale, you see it, obviously the text scales down from the bottom point here, which is fine. So go ahead and set the scale down to 0%. And then from here, let's go into the range selector and you can see that we have the start percentage and the end percentage. If we increase the start percentage, you can see that each letter is going to come on one at a time. And what's cool about this sort of property setup is if we can, we can add more uh, effectors here. So we can add a position effector and what's great is we can offset it if we want our text coming from the top, you can see that that, uh, that position effector has done that for us. So what's great about it, you don't need to add any keyframes for any of the you know parameters except for the start percentage. And just like this, your text coming from anywhere. That's cool, but we won't use position for the tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the start percentage down to 0%, add a keyframe, move forward to maybe two and a half seconds, and we're going to increase the start percentage to 100%. And what I like to do is make both of these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on my keyboard. So I want to be able to control these keyframes a little bit better. So I want to take a look at the graph editor. And this is a display of our keyframes here. So we see that we have the start parameter uh, selected here and we have our two keyframes and we see that this is going to have a slow start at the beginning and it's going to slow down towards the end of the animation, which is very nice, it's very smooth. Uh, but what we can do is we can drag out these vertices and we can you know, exaggerate the end a little bit more so when it gets towards the end, it'll slow down a little bit earlier. So that's really nice. And maybe we can even start it up even more like this. And maybe we'll even bring this keyframe over a little bit. So now we can run through this. And here's with our controlled easy ease keyframes. It has a nice slow start on and it slows down towards the end. We have that nice you know, control there compared to say if we had, uh, if we would have kept this like a linear keyframe. So if I come here to change the linear real quick, whereas this is, linear and as you see it just has this one consistent speed throughout the entire animation there's no you know slow start or slow end it's just all consistent so that's you know linear so go back to our easy ease keyframes and we'll have that nice uh beginning and end all right so we don't always have to do individual text animation to bring in our text so what i want to do with the animated text is i want it to just kind of just pop into the frame very easily so if we want animated just to pop in here what we can do is hit p on keyboard for position add a keyframe for position move this keyframe forward in time to maybe like a second and a few frames here and we'll go ahead and bring down the y position like this okay so it's just going to do that and you know it's not popping in the frame is already there so we'll go ahead and we'll control this so before we do this, and before we move on, make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe. Hit F9 on your keyboard. And if you want, you can also control that by a little bit. I, I'm going to leave it where it's at. And before we apply our black magic to hide the animated text, <laughs> that's definitely not going to help me pick up any ladies. But uh, we're going to do a rectangle right around our text. So let's grab the rectangle tool here at the top. And let's come here to the end of the typography animation. And let's just draw this rectangle like so. Now, what you need to do is make sure you click on the word fill and you turn this to none and you click OK. And you click on the word stroke and you set this to solid color and you click OK. And I'm using a pixel count of about four and that's going to be fine. And I'm using just white for now. We might change this a little bit later. And what we're going to do is make sure this is all lined up and centered in the center of our you know, composition here and just centered around our text in general. Okay, so obviously we want to reveal on this rectangle, right? So let's go to add and let's add a trim paths. And let's open up trim paths and we can increase the start percentage. You can see that we can animate this line on. It's really cool. 
So let's come here and set the start percentage to 50% and also the end percentage to 50%. And you shouldn't see anything. And add a keyframe for start and end percentage. And let's move to the end here. Maybe we'll do like two seconds and 12 frames. And we'll increase the start percentage to 100% and the end percentage to 0%. So now there'll be two lines coming from here. And we have this. Now, I want this line to start off right here at the top. So what we can do, let me move forward here a little bit. And we can increase the offset. And we can try to center this up as best as we can. We can see this line comes in from the middle like so. And that's looking good. And we'll make the last keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And now let's go ahead and grab our animated text, our top layer, go up to layer pre-compose. And we'll just call this one text one or whatever. Click OK. And then we'll come over here. We'll grab the rectangle tool again. And we'll draw a mask right over our top stroke line like this. And just bring it up over your text here. And now, and we'll see that our title almost reveals on from our stroke here. And that looks really good. And maybe what we'll do is we'll offset the typography just by a little bit. While our animated text is hanging up here, I want to add another effect or two, which is because it's just hanging there, not doing much. So let's go back into our animated text layer here. And let's open this up. Let's go to animate and let's add skew. Uh, obviously, if we skew it from you know, either side here, it animates the entire text and that doesn't look too good. So let's come here and set this to maybe 14, maybe a little bit more. And we'll go into our range selector here and we'll increase the start percentage to 100%. Add a keyframe for start, move forward in time, maybe to, for like two seconds and we'll decrease the start percentage to 100% and then also add a keyframe for end percentage. And we'll do the same thing, we'll bring this down to 0%. Now we'll take both the end keyframes here and we'll offset them in time just by a little bit. So now, we have just a little bit of animation like this, and that looks cool. I like that. So we're gonna move into some bigger concepts here, but first let's go ahead and start deciding our color palette. I'm gonna come here and just change this to purple. And what I wanna happen is I want this rectangle to close in on the text, and I want the text to take the form of the shape layer. So this is really cool, and it's gonna be fun. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just grab the rectangle tool, no shape layers this time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to layer, new, solid. Okay, and we can call this one box, and just click okay. And what we're gonna do here is just you know, maybe hide this layer, lock all the other layers so we can draw out our mask on it. And we'll just draw out a mask like this over our text, or so over our uh, stroke here. And we can turn our layer back on. And now we have this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to select the mask one, go up to edit, duplicate, go to the mask two, click on subtract, open up mask two. And we want this to close in on itself right here at, at this time. So we'll add a keyframe for mask expansion move forward in time, uh, maybe to almost four seconds, maybe maybe exactly at four seconds, and we'll decrease the max expansion until the box closes up like this. Make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe. So now what we wanna do is we want the text to be kind of transparent as this closes through. So this is very easy to do. What we're gonna do is we're going to select the box layer and also our uh, text layer, duplicate those, uh, just bring them to the top for now so we keep it all simple. All right, so how we're gonna have this layered out is we have four layers here. Our, we have our two text layers and we have our two duplicated box layers. So our two box layers are gonna be in the center while our text is on the bottom and also on the top. So this is what we wanna do. We wanna grab our first box layer here and we wanna set this to Luma inverted matte. And then we'll go to our text down here and we wanna set this to alpha inverted matte. So now our text is going, the box is gonna close up on it on our text and our text is gonna become transparent just like that. So that's really cool. So now what I wanna do is I want to animate this out. So what I wanna do real quick is go ahead and go up to layer, new, null object. And let's parent all of our layers, except for the background if you have one, to the null object. And let's come to, once this reveals on right here, let's hit S on keyboard for scale. Let's add a keyframe for, for it. And let's go forward just by a few frames here. And let's just jump this back a little bit. And this adds just a little bit of quick movement and of course make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe. So boom, that just jumps into place. So let's come up down here and let's grab all of our layers except for our background, go to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call it, uh, you know, all animated or whatever you want to call it, click okay. So what we want to do is split the graphic in half and animate it out. So what we, what we want to do is grab our comp down here, go up to edit, split layer. Let's come here and zoom out of our comp. Let's grab the pen tool and let's add a point in this corner down here and let's add another point up in this corner and we'll come down over here and we'll mask this out like so. And now we only see half of our graphic. 
So we'll come over here, we'll duplicate this layer, hit M on our keyboard, and we'll set this to subtract. So now we have both of our graphics here, and now we have the ability to split this in half. Uh, however, I want to be able to actually motivate the animation, so let's come here and let's add another shape layer here. So what we want to do is we want to come here to the mask path, and we just want to copy it, go up to layer, new shape layer, and we'll bring this to the top, and we'll come in here, we'll go to add, and we'll add a path. Where is it? There you are. And we'll open up path one, and we'll paste that mask in here, and we'll need to come over here, you know, maybe we'll delete this bottom point here, and we'll delete this point as well. So now we just have the straight line from our mask, and we'll come to our shape layer, and we'll come to add, and we'll add a stroke. So now we have our stroke like so, and we need to animate this in, so we'll also go to add, and we'll add a trim paths. And we'll come over here, and we want this to come on right here. So we'll set the start percentage to 50% and the end percentage to 50% as well. We'll add a keyframe for both. We'll move forward in time, maybe to like almost five seconds here. And we'll come over here and we'll increase the start percentage just by a little bit and also the end percentage by a touch as well. And we need to offset this by a touch just so this is right in the center. So that comes in right there. We'll make the last keyframe, of course, easy ease keyframes. And also what I want to do is go to the stroke one here and I want to set the line cap, which right now is just a straight edge to a round cap. And that'll kind of nicely, you know, round it out. Very subtle, but it's going to look good. And we'll keep that there for now. And what I want to do is right when this cut is complete, I want to break our text away. So we'll grab both our layers here, hit P on our keyboard for position and we'll add a keyframe. We'll move forward here to maybe six seconds or maybe a little bit quicker than that. And we'll grab you know, one of these layers and we'll bring it up by a little bit. So we'll bring it all the way up here to the top. And we'll grab our bottom layer down here and we'll bring it down. All right, no problem. And of course, as always, we'll make the first two keyframes easy ease keyframes. And obviously from here, just like before, what we can do is just pre-compose both of these animated layers and we can call it uh, cut graphic, click OK. And what we can do here, grab the rectangle tool and come right here to this moment in time, create a mask like so, set this to subtract and come down here and set this to subtract as well. And as you know, it'll fade away just like that. And that looks good. So obviously now we just have to animate the uh, you know shape layer out. So this is very easy. We'll do the same exact thing, but I wanna add a mask. Uh, so if you come here and just grab, say the rectangle tool, it'll be added as another shape. So what you need to do is you need to come over here to this icon at the top. It says tool creates mask. Okay. So make sure the shape layer is selected. And if you want, you can just draw out a rectangle like this and we'll click on subtract. All right. So now what we'll need to do is go to the mask one and we want this to animate out exactly when it's done animating in. We'll add a keyframe for mask path and we'll move to the end of animation, which will be like right here. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll grab these two points and we'll try to bring us to the center and we'll close this up. And it's not exactly perfect, but we'll work on it. And then we'll select both these keyframes over here, right click them, click on keyframe assistance and we'll time reverse those keyframes. And nice, that'll just close up like that, make the last keyframe, we'll make both these easy ease keyframes. Nice. All right, so we're almost done here. We need to do my favorite part and that's enable motion blur for all of our layers. Make sure to turn on the top and also you need to go back into these previous com compositions that have the animation and make sure that it's all applied and you'll have that consistent uh, animation. And after a quick render, this is what we have and we have our animated graphics, we have our animated typography and it looks great. Hopefully you were able to take away a few concepts from this video that you'll be able to apply in your professional work. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video, and as always, I hope you have a good day.